I am going to take you through a Proverbs a day for the next 31 days. Before we go any further, make sure to hit that follow button so you can listen to all 31 devotions in Proverbs. It's day one. So who wrote the book of Proverbs? Mostly King Solomon, who was known as the wisest man of his time. He is also the son of David and Bathsheba. I feel like it is like the book of morals that kind of leads you on the path to righteousness. And you gain so much wisdom and knowledge along the way. Proverbs 1 is all about fearing the Lord. Proverbs 1, 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fear is not like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. It is more like you respect God's word and what he wants from you. Wisdom is one of the greatest assets that we can possess, but we have to seek it diligently in God's word. I always like to ask myself, what I am doing now, will that make me happy later in life? In Proverbs 1, 7, it said, fools despise wisdom and instruction. I would define a fool as someone who is morally deficient, hasty in making decisions, and then someone that just speaks without even thinking. Someone who is selfish, someone who thinks highly of themselves, and they tend to make poor decisions in all areas of their life. They are ungrateful. They lack appreciation. They complain and gossip a lot. But we as humans, are attracted to this for some weird reason. But verse 10 says not to give in to them. It says, my son, if sinful men entice you, do not give in to them. So my question is, how good are you at saying no to things that appear to be enjoyable and enticing, knowing that God does not approve of them? You are going to be tempted and enticed your entire life. But leaning into God's word daily will help you create that foundation that you need to help you say no. Start fearing the Lord today by reading your Bible and praying every single day. This is going to help you to gain knowledge to help you turn away from sin. I will say that we are all sinners blessed by the grace of God. Let's go in prayer over Proverbs 1. Dear Lord, please help us to be more aware of your presence in our life. We want to grow in knowledge and gain wisdom. Please help us to be consistent in our daily prayers and our daily devotions and help us to lean and trust in you more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope this helped. Make sure to hit that follow button so you can be a part of Proverbs 2.